In 1978, a TV show not only captured the hearts of millions, but also redefined the landscape of television drama. Yes, we're talking about the legendary Dallas. Fast forward to 2024, and the stars of this iconic series have journeyed through time, just like their unforgettable characters. But how have they changed? Today, we're diving into a captivating then and now look at the cast of Dallas. From soaring careers to life's unpredictable turns, we're exploring it all. Larry Hagman, 1931 to 2012. Larry Hagman was a famous American actor who was born on September 21st, 1931. He is best known for his role as the ruthless oil tycoon J.R. Ewing in the TV series Dallas when he was 47 years old. His character was so hated that even the Romanian dictator Nicolae Ceaușescu allowed the series to be shown in his country to turn people against American capitalism. Larry Hagman was the only actor who appeared in all three 57 episodes of the show. He was also famous for playing the confused astronaut Major Anthony Nelson in the sitcom I Dream of Jeannie. He appeared in many films and TV shows throughout his career. Hagman was the son of actress Mary Martin, and he loved working with Barbara Bel Geddes, who played his mother on Dallas. He had a unique habit of requiring autograph seekers to sing a song or tell him a joke before giving his autograph. Larry Hagman passed away on November 23rd, 2012, but his legacy lives on in the entertainment industry. Patrick Duffy, 74 years old. Patrick Duffy played the character of Bobby Ewing in Dallas. He acted alongside Barbara Bel Geddes and Larry Hagman, who played his TV mother and brother, respectively. Interestingly, after his real-life parents were murdered, Barbara Bel Geddes became his surrogate mother. Born on March 17, 1949, he was only 29 years old when he first played the role of Bobby and made $75,000 per episode of Dallas, plus a $1 million signing bonus. However, he was unhappy with the final episode of Dallas as it broke away from the show's format. Patrick Duffy met his wife, Carlin Rosser, on a bus and despite her being 10 years older than him, they fell in love and got married. He always wore his wedding ring during the filming of Dallas, even during seasons where his character was unmarried. His son, Connor Duffy, even played a role in the final episode of Dallas. Patrick Duffy returned to reprise his role as Bobby in a continuation of Dallas, which aired on TNT from 2012 to 2014. Patrick Duffy is now 74 years old and his wife, Carlin Rosser, passed away in 2017. In 2020, he entered into a relationship with actress Linda Pearl. Linda Gray, 83 years old. Linda Ann Gray is an actress, director, producer, and former model from America. She is famous for playing the role of Sue Ellen Ewing, the wife of J.R. Ewing, in the TV show Dallas. Linda was only 29 years old when she joined the show, she is also known for featuring in the famous leg poster for the movie The Graduate, 1967, with Dustin Hoffman as a model. She was best friends with Larry Hagman, her co-star until he passed away in 2012. Linda was fired from the show during the eighth season because she asked the producers to let her direct some episodes. Linda is currently 83 years old, and she owns a production company named LG Productions Inc. She was married to Ed Thrasher from April 28th 1962 to November 14th, 1983, and they have two children together named Jeff Thrasher and Keely Sloan. Steve Canali, 77 years old. Steve Canali is an American actor who is most famous for his role as Ray Krebs. He played the role of a foreman at the South Fork Ranch, and he was 32 years old at that time. He continued to play the character in a few other episodes and movies, including the 2012 TNT revival and the 1998 drama film, Dallas, War of the Ewings. Born on March 14, 1946, Steve also served in the US Army in the Vietnam War. He initially auditioned for the role of Bobby Ewing on Dallas, but he was later given the role of Bobby's half-brother, Ray Krebs. Apart from Dallas, Steve also appeared in other TV shows like Time Express and All My Children. He has also acted in several movies such as The Life and Times of Judge Roy Bean, Dillinger, and Midway. Steve was recommended for his first movie role by his friend and frequent collaborator, John Milius. 
Steve Canali is 77 years old now and married to Brent Power. They have two children. He and his wife have a ranch in Ojai, California, where they grow avocados and oranges. Ken Kercheval, 1935 to 2019. Ken Kercheval was an American actor best known for his role as Cliff Barnes in the hit TV show Dallas. He played the role from the show's beginning in 1978 until it ended in 1991. Ken was initially cast as another character, Ray Krebs, but was later given the role of Cliff Barnes. He continued to play this character in various Dallas reunions and the 2012 Dallas series. Ken Kercheval and Larry Hagman, who played JR, had many battles in Dallas, but their most challenging battles happened in real life. Ken beat lung cancer in 1993, but had to have a big portion of his lung removed due to years of smoking. Ken Kercheval was married and divorced three times and had five children, and he had six grandchildren in 2012. In his later years, he spent most of his time near his family in Clinton, Indiana, where he enjoyed attending local fairs and festivals. Ken Kercheval passed away from pneumonia on April 21st, 2019, at the age of 83. Charlene Tilton, 65 years old. Born on December 1st, 1958, she became famous for her role as Lucy Ewing in Dallas at the young age of 20. She also appeared in one episode of the spin-off series Knots Landing in 1980. She won the role of Lucy Ewing over Stephanie Kramer. During the peak of her Dallas fame, she was paid $50,000 per episode, appeared on 500 magazine covers, and drew 65 million viewers for her 1981 TV wedding. She is the only Dallas cast to attend her TV uncle Larry Hagman's 70th birthday in 2001. Tilton also guest hosted an episode of Saturday Night Live on February 21st, 1981, which featured a parody of the famous Who Shot JR episode of Dallas. She is one of only five actors, along with Larry Hagman, Patrick Duffy, Ted Shackelford, and Joan Van Ark to play the same character in all three series. Tilton is now 65 years old, and she has been married twice. Her first marriage was to Johnny Lee from February 14, 1982 to June 28, 1984. They had a child named Cherish Lee. Her second marriage was to Dominic Allen from April 7, 1985 to 1992. They later divorced. Victoria Principal, 74 years old. Born on January 3, 1950, Victoria Principal is a well-known actress who played the character of Pamela Barnes Ewing in Dallas. She was only 28 years old when she got this role and was very smart in negotiating her contract with CBS and Lorimar Productions. She made sure that the network could not control her work outside of Dallas. Later on, got nominated for the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a TV series for her performance in Dallas. Victoria worked hard to improve her character, even taking voice lessons to perfect her Texas accent. Interestingly, during the summer before the third season of Dallas, the pilot of an airplane threatened not to land the plane unless she revealed who shot JR. She also worked as a model in New York and Europe before she became an actress. Victoria was married twice, but has no children. Her first marriage was from 1978 to 1981 to Christopher Skinner, and her second was to Harry Glassman from 1985 to 2006. She is now 74 years old and still has a huge fan following. Barbara Bel Geddes, 1922 to 2005. At the age of 56, Barbara Bel Geddes became the first actor signed for the iconic TV series Dallas, portraying the family matriarch, Miss Ellie Ewing. This role not only brought her widespread international acclaim, but also marked her as the only cast member to win both an Emmy Award and a Golden Globe. Her compelling performance during the 1979-1980 season earned her another Emmy Award. Belle Geddes was a trailblazer off-screen too, receiving recognition from former First Lady Betty Ford for her efforts in raising breast cancer awareness. Despite being named Hollywood's most attractive new star by Life magazine in 1948, Belle Geddes faced health challenges, including a heart attack, and later in life, a battle with lung cancer, attributed to years of heavy smoking. She passed away on August 8, 2005, 
and her ashes were scattered into the harbor waters, fulfilling her final wishes. Susan Howard, 79 years old. Susan Howard appeared on Dallas as Donna Culver Krebs when she was 35 years old, and she did such a good job that she was asked to stay on the show for eight years. She is the only cast member of Dallas who also wrote for the show. Born on January 28, 1944, she was the first woman to play a character called a Klingon in the TV show Star Trek in 1966. She was also the first woman to speak as a woman in the original Star Trek series. Susan was married to an actor named Charles Howerton from 1962 to 1964. They had one daughter named Lynn. Later, in 1974, she married a man, Calvin Crane, who worked in the film industry. They have lived in Bourne, Texas since 1998. 79 years old now, is a member of the Writers Guild of America, and she wrote two episodes of Dallas. Priscilla Presley, 78 years old. Priscilla Presley played the role of Jenna Wade in Dallas at the age of 38. She played the role for five years, which was the longest of the three actors who portrayed the character. During her time on the show, she was offered a role in a James Bond movie, but she had to decline due to scheduling problems. Priscilla was born on May 24, 1945, and is now 78 years old. She is the wife of the legendary singer Elvis Presley and lived a much protected life with him, and she never wrote a check until she was 29 years old. Priscilla has two children, Lisa Marie Presley and Navarone Garibaldi Garcia. So this was all about today's video. If you enjoyed watching the video, please hit a like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.